All right, everyone, we did it. I just finished the fashion styling foundations course through FIT and Yellow Brick. Finished module five, which finishes the entire course. So we're gonna talk about that today and talk about the overall recap and review of the Fashion Styling Foundations course by FIT and Yellow Brick. If you are new here, my name is Chloe Mason. I am an ambassador and advisory panelist for Yellow Brick. I have graduated from the Fashion Industry Essentials course and the Fashion Business Essentials course, and most recently, the Fashion Styling Foundations course through FIT, which is what we're gonna be talking about today. I am enrolled in two more courses, so be sure to subscribe to follow along, and you will see all the content for those courses as well. So fashion styling foundations. So I enrolled, I believe July 12th or something, and I finished yesterday, August 20th. It took me a little over a month to complete this course given I am a stay at home mom. So I feel like I do, but I don't have the luxury to spend more time on this because I'm at home. I don't work full time but I do at the same time because I'm a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> I'm just gonna get this out of the way. My least favorite module was module four. I just didn't find it very informative. I just thought module four was the most boring. That said, module three was my favorite module because it covered so much, like I said in my previous videos. Overall, I really liked this course and I would recommend it for anybody who's interested in fashion styling, mainly because there is nothing, in my opinion, that they left untouched. They went over networking, they went over portfolios, they went over how to build your resume and call sheets and how to build clientele. They went over every single detail on how to kind of get your name out there and you're always networking. And so how to always remain not just professional, but kind. I really liked how much they focused on building resumes because I feel like that's something that's often overlooked. And when it comes to merchandising, that's usually a question that I get asked about the most is resumes or portfolios, which I am gonna be filming another video about portfolios. Stay tuned for that. But this one was interesting just because I feel like when I first started taking yellow brick courses, that was like 2016, 2017. And in that past, in this past seven years, I feel like so much has changed in the fashion industry just from social media and technology alone, which is something that they really reiterate in the course too, is how much this growth and technology and social media has influenced fashion and styling. And what used to be a world of, ju of just specifically like designers or maybe celebrity styling is now a whole new thing with influencers. And it is kind of cool to see how much the general public, everyday people like you and me are able to influence things. Like I feel like we have a lot more power now than we used to because of the social media influence and people like influencers or whoever have a lot of power to tell in affiliate marketing like there's just like a whole new world of things and a lot of these people like instructors were talking about back in the day when they were getting started the internet the internet itself was just getting started but now when you're styling or taking pictures or working on a shoot or whatever it is you can share it in a matter of seconds and it's all over the world which is insane but really cool and scary at the same time. And you have to make sure that you don't mess up. I really like that they kept reiterating that you have to be kind because you never know who's watching. You have to be humble because everybody starts somewhere. You can always work your way up. And the more pleasant you are to be around in this industry, the more likely you will hear, say you're working on a shoot and there was another stylist there, like a hair and makeup artist. And they're like, oh, I really recommend them. They were really great. And you get to work, book another shoot or another project. They talked about payments and how to set up invoices, like actual stuff. You know how like people joke about public school when we were younger that we wish we actually studied, you know, how to balance a checkbook or, you know, actual things like that, how to file your taxes. I feel like this course wasn't all fluff. Like it wasn't really, it wasn't fluff at all anyway, but it actually focused on things that you actually are going to need, not just like be kind, work hard, but actually like, okay, here's how to set up your resume. Here's how to reach out to a, a potential client um, or someone that you would like to assist on a shoot. Here's how to set up invoices. Here's how to build your portfolio. And that it is a tough industry. You know, I feel like it's, I always feel like everything is so much more tough now than ever, especially creatively, which it's cool that there's so many more creative jobs, but at the same time, that just makes it so much more intimidating to me because it's so much more competitive now. But I like the transparency of the instructors too. Like not everybody's gonna be a pleasure to work with, certain designers or whoever. But I did, I did thoroughly enjoy this course. I thought it was really interesting. And this is just coming from someone who 
isn't necessarily pursuing fashion styling. I mean, I liked that they did kind of cover the other different styling options that are available in this career path. So if you didn't want to just do like personal styling, they had like celebrity styling, food styling, merchandising. So I thought that was kind of interesting too. And I feel like it's cool to experiment with that kind of styling because I feel like for, maybe you don't want to be a personal stylist, right? This, this course obviously does focus on personal styling. It mentions the other kinds of styling that are available, but if you want to be a personal stylist, this is basically the epitome of the course. But I like that they mentioned the other styling and I feel like, again, for social media content creators or for people who are trying to start out and do freelance work like that, there are those type of styling jobs out there, like product styling. I've shared pictures with you guys of flat lays or maybe, I mean, merchandising is, is essentially kind of product styling. And also, you know, if you get like, if you work with a brand and they're like, you need to take this amount of pictures or something. I know you guys probably saw one of my most recent videos with the um, collagen powder with Vita Authority. That is it, like styling is kind of everywhere. You know what I mean? As always, I'll include the links below if you guys want to check out the course and learn more. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down in the comments. And I don't know which course I'm gonna take next. I have product design and e-commerce foundations. If you have the option to take this course, I would definitely do it. Kind of reiterating what I've said in the past with these courses, you have a full year to take it. It's 100% self-paced online. So as long as you finish it within a year, you're golden. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me any questions in the comments or what you're looking forward to most about this course or the next courses. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks guys, bye.